Good evening, and this is Evening's LA Light. The President of the United States gets that fourth stimulus push he wanted, but what will those Democratic senators do? They want multiple stimulus checks, and I'll be going over those multiple stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus check package tonight with new video from the White House, his Commerce Secretary, and more. What's important to understand is that these bills need to get to the Senate as quickly as possible before unemployment improves, and today it did not improve. The new jobless numbers, I'll be going over them, released this morning. And why certain states that are about to reopen are still seeing a surge of unemployment claims. What does that mean on the tech sector, and what does it mean on your stimulus? I'll have all the details. New video from the White House, new video from the Commerce Secretary, and new video from the press secretary going over what's in four stimulus. I'll also touch on those missing third stimulus checks and I'll also go over the major win from Chuck Schumer, that to-do list on four stimulus. Away we go into the big push for four stimulus checks and four stimulus package. That push needs to get done as soon as possible because the economy is rebounding and you don't want this stimulus bill to be in the Senate too late. This is a major broadcast and this is Evenings LLA. everybody it's evenings LA and what a big night it is as we fly into the sunset we're almost to the weekend and away we go but four stimulus is heating up in this broadcast I'll go over those multiple stimulus checks how much you can get paid why the routing times is quick is quicker rather than later and what happened today and yesterday from the White House it's a big night and I'm so excited you are here thank you for joining me on evenings LA wow away we go fourth stimulus check and fourth stimulus package. The fourth stimulus check update for 2021 is that there's multiple stimulus checks coming your way if two things happen. One, reconciliation of the bill, and two, they get it to the Senate before this economy rebounds. In tonight's recording, I'll go over the new economic data that came out this morning, and it impacts your stimulus checks. How are you? you? Having a good night? I hope you are. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate all the love and support, and there's a lot happening in this broadcast, so stay with me to the very end because, boy, this is a biggie. If you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Uh, you want you to be part of this community because there is executive orders, standalone bills, and sep separate bills that are happening between third stimulus and fourth stimulus. Everything from student loan debt forgiveness to other items you don't wanna miss, you want the PDF. So become at least a subscriber to start. If you've not become a member, consider also becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat and also the pinned comment. You get access to those PDFs. And if you've not liked this video, like the video. Let's get to the breaking news. It started this morning. As the fourth stimulus check and fourth stimulus package is dependent upon two factors. One, time, and second, unemployment. You want this bill in the Senate as soon as possible because you don't want the economy rebounding before the bill becomes law. The Democrats have your back currently. 21 of 50 want to give you multiple stimulus checks. And let's be very clear what they want to give you. They want to give it to per month to the end of this year. For you, if you make less than $75,000, for you, if you're a child or an adult dependent, for you, if you're on SSI or SSDI, they want you to have it. But two factors are at play. One, they have to do this bill by reconciliation, like the third stimulus package, because the Republicans don't want to give you stimulus checks. And number two, you got to get the bill to the Senate before the economy rebounds. That's sort of obvious, but it's not obvious when we don't know where this economy is. On Friday, the jobs numbers were released. Now, understand there's two numbers that impact your stimulus checks. Job numbers released once per month that shows how many jobs are creating this economy. And number two, unemployment numbers, which come out every Thursday. What did we learn last th Friday? That there are 8 million jobs missing in this economy, that stimulus will be provided if those 8 million jobs are not restored or until they're restored. So how long will it take to restore those jobs? We thought 16 months. 
On Friday, we learned one eight months because we restored one million jobs in the month of March for eight million jobs missing. That's eight months. But then what happened? On Friday, analysts said we could see two million jobs restored in the month of April, where we are right now, which means in four months, all those jobs will be restored. And that means that of those 21 50, uh, 50 Democrats, they may get cold feet when those jobs are restored about giving you stimulus checks going forward. Because why are we stimulating anything if jobs are back to normal? Here's what you also need to know is that the other number that's dependent upon the factor is the jobless numbers. And these are people who are unemployed. There's two numbers for this, new claims and people on continuing claims, still unemployed. And today the number came out and wow, it was horrible. It was horrible. This is what the number came in at. First, let's go over the new jobless claims. These are people who newly became unemployed last week. The prior week was 728. Wall Street expecting a major drop to 694. Guess what? It didn't drop. In fact, it didn't even come in at last week's number. It skyrocketed. It came in nearly 50,000 more unemployment claims than Wall Street anticipated. This is a horrible number. We're heading back to 800,000. This means that suddenly stimulus, reoccurring stimulus, monthly stimulus has its ammunition in economic data. And that data you're looking at right now on this channel. This is the economic data to support monthly stimulus checks. 800,000 new jobless claims in one week. If you've been with this channel over the last 40 something weeks, you have seen me report jobless claims at about 800,000 to 1.2 million every week. We're not improving. Let's look at the second number to this morning. This came out this morning. The number of people still unemployed in the United States, 3.73 million. It improved by 16,000. That's not an improvement. It's not hundreds of thousands of people. It's just 16,000. 3.73 million people. This is also ammunition for monthly stimulus checks. So where do the numbers come from? Here they were. California had 40,000 new jobless claims in the month of uh, last week. New York added nearly 16,000 new jobless claims. Alabama, 14,000 people got off of unemployment. And Ohio, 10,000 got off of unemployment. This is what you need to know, is that while you may wonder about the issue of some states asking you to recertify for benefits for unemployment, which has been a big issue in California, that's not what's happening here. These are people who are newly unemployed, meaning they were never employed, unemployed before. Also making news today was Apple, Twitter, and also uh, the parent company of Corona Beer, Constellation Brands. Those reports came in at strong numbers. So you have a combating force of good numbers in one place and bad numbers in another. Yesterday, Jamie Dimon, head of J.P. Morgan Chase, said the economy is booming. Well, if the economy is booming, will people give you stimulus? His statement was that this boom could easily run into 2023. And all this week, the FANG stocks have been rallying. Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. Meantime, what about those missing stimulus checks? If you're tuning in and you're missing a third stimulus check, what should you know? Number one, direct deposit wait. It could still post this week. It could still post in another wave next week. We've not heard yet if there's another wave coming. Second, check the mail. 50% of the viewers of this channel may get the check in the mail. Number three, watch for guidance from this channel from IRS. IRS is likely to give guidance if you're missing a first, second, or third stimulus check. The first and second is requested by filing a tax return. How do you do the third? We don't know. And then I've got a lot of viewers, nearly two dozen who got multiple stimulus checks when they were only old one. What do you do? How do you return it? What do you do? I don't know. So let's wait and see the advisory about that. The mail checks, March 26th, they're about 10 days late at least. They're still showing up today, April 2nd to 5th. Add about 10 days to that. You're not particularly late yet. And the April 7th checks add about 10 days to that as well. Those checks are going out this week, the April 9th checks. Also heating up on the grass or the tease was the Masters today. Thursday through Sunday, the Masters run. This channel will have live coverage both on this channel and on LLNews.com. There's a 1.5 million purse, and the defending champion is Justin, J Dustin Johnson. 
Yesterday, the President of the United States addressed the push to get four stimulus out the door. And I don't think in all of the recordings to date have I seen the President more pissed than the, during this broadcast. He said, darn it, you can't do nothing. I'm going to go over his broadcast because it's important for you to understand what this means for the reconciliation process. Let's listen to what the President said about your four stimulus package yesterday and Republican opposition. You're paying close to that in your income tax. I've also proposed the global minimum tax, which is being proposed around the world for U.S. corporations at 20 percent. Let me tell you what that means. It means that companies aren't going to be able to hide their income in places like the Cayman Islands and Bermuda in tax havens. We're going to also eliminate deductions used by corporations for offshoring jobs and shifting assets overseas. They offshore the jobs, shift the assets overseas, and then don't have to pay taxes on all they make there. And we'll significantly ramp up IRS enforcement against corporations and the super wealthy who either fail to report their income or underreport it. Estimated that would raise tens of billions of dollars. <clears throat> it adds up to more than what I proposed in just 15 years. It's honest, it's fair, it's fiscally responsible. And it pays for what we need and reduces the debt over the long haul. And by the way, I didn't hear any of our friends who were criticizing this plan say that the corporate tax cut, which added $2 trillion of the debt. Here's the confusion about the, the press's, president's messaging, is he's focusing a lot about the corporate tax rate. But that's really not a democratic battleground. Yesterday and the day before, Joe Manchin says, I'm fine at 25 percent. Let's do it at 25 percent. And the president said he was not opposed to dropping his corporate tax rate proposal to a number that is different than 28 percent. So that's really not where the battleground is. The battleground is getting this bill done without without a reconciliation process. Let's listen more about what the president had to say Be around this one. The divisions of the moment shouldn't stop us from doing the right thing for the future. These aren't Republican bridges, <clears throat> Democratic airports, Republican hospitals, or Democratic power grid. Think of the transcontinental railroad, interstate highway system, or the space race. We're one nation, united and connected. As I said last week, I'm going to bring Republicans to the White House and invite them to come. We'll have good faith negotiations. And any Republican who wants to get this done, I invite. I invite them. We have to get this things done. We're at an inflection point in American democracy. This is a moment where we prove whether or not democracy can deliver, whether it can lay the foundation for an economy <clears throat> built from the bottom up and the middle out, not trickle down economics from the very top, whether it can lay a good foundation for good jobs in a 21st century economy. Here's what's going wrong in, in this messaging. The president understands that infrastructure is bipartisanship, is bipartisan. But his bill provides for climate, and Demo Republicans don't want climate in a bill. And the president said during this briefing that no action is not an option. Republicans want no action for climate. So away we go. The bill should go by reconciliation. You also heard him say over the next week or two, I encourage good faith negotiations. Boy, you're going to hear in the next video coming up in this broadcast where the Commerce Secretary says she's open for negotiations as well. But you want, don't want this to drag out and you don't want something to happen that's not going to happen. Here's the takeaway. The bill provides for a series of items, and one of the items is climate, of which that's a no starter, a non starter for the Republicans. It also includes increasing corporate taxes and other taxes. That's a non starter for the Republicans. With that, the president should do this by reconciliation. Remember, reconciliation is the only way you get this bill to the Senate for those 21 of 50 Democrats to amend it and put multiple stimulus checks in there every month. No Republican wants you to have a stimulus check. They made it very clear. That's their messaging. Only Democrats. And with that, the push underway needs to be with Purple Power. Hashtag MSC. Hashtag Purple Power. Over the next two weeks, the president and his commerce secretary says they want to hear from the American people like you. What do you want to have done? Call them up. Send them a letter. 
email them, tweet them, contact the Commerce Secretary, contact the, co- the Transportation Cabinet member, contact the White House and say, I want this forced stimulus package by recon. It's taking too long. You know you're not going to get support from Republicans. We need those monthly stimulus checks. The Democrats want us to have it. Get it done. Don't delay. I'll have more about this coming up in the broadcast and later after this commercial break. And I'll break down the big number that you're entitled to get under the forced stimulus package. Who, when, how, and where the push needs to be. Stay with me as Evening's LA continues in just a second. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right right now on Evenings LA. Light. Wow, what a big night it is, and I'm so excited for you to join me. It's a big night with a lot of programming. After Evenings LA tonight is Hazard Pay. And last night we had a laugh. Uh, last night, the two nights ago, I brought back Purple Power as a throwback video, Overnight's LA add-on. Uh, and it comes up after Hazard Pay. But last night I put Hazard Pay and Purple Power at the exact same time. <laughs> <laughs> it's competing against my self-reviews. So uh, tonight, I hopefully will remind myself not to make that mistake. Tonight coming up on After Evenings LA in 90 minutes from now is Hazard Pay. And then right after Hazard Pay, after Hazard Pay, is Purple Power, which talks about keeping positive and focused to get to the finish line financially. Thank you for joining me on a big night of Evenings LA. If you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video. And if you have not become a member, consider becoming a member. It's our one-year anniversary. In just a few weeks, we're trying to get to 400,000 subscribers. So let's do it. Let's subscribe and hit that like button. Two, three, four thousand 4,000 likes, and away we go. Here's what you need to know about those stimulus checks, that third stimulus check, if you haven't gotten it. One, stay positive. Two, stay motivated. Three, watch the mail. You may be a mail check recipient. There's reasons we just don't know when people are mail check recipients. Nearly 50% of the viewers of this channel are mail check recipients. You may be in the next wave of checks if there is another wave of checks. A lot of insiders had told me over the previous weeks that stimulus checks will continue to go out until they so land. Yesterday, the press secretary spoke about the third stimulus checks, ironically, in doing a briefing about the fourth stimulus package. She did not say that this was the final wave of stimulus checks, so let's listen in to how she phrased it. The voters back the American Jobs Plan. That includes the support of 57% of Republican voters. Dig into, digging into the numbers shows just how broad the support is. 68% of independents, 64% of Republicans back the president's proposed investment in the care economy, something the secretary just talked about quite a bit. And all of the investments the survey looked at, from roads and bridges to housing, clean energy and manufacturing, have the support of over 60% of voters and a majority of independents. The evidence is unanimous that the American people support the president's vision of rebuilding our economy and his plan to pay for it by asking big corporations to pay their fair share. A morning consult poll just last week showed that two to one registered voters back a hypothetical $3 trillion infrastructure package. 
And earlier data for progress poll showed that by a 35% margin, voters want to pay for this plan by asking the wealthy and big corporations to pay their fair share. Uh, another update uh, today, we uh, can proudly say that in addition to the 150 million shots in arms, we have successfully sent over 150 million relief checks to the American people. The fourth batch of the American of the economic impact payments from the American Rescue Plan totals more than 25 million payments, which brings the total dispersed so far to more than 156 million payments, totaling $372 billion since the plan was signed into law less than a month ago. The largest block of these latest payments went to Social Security beneficiaries who didn't file a 2020 or 2019 tax return and didn't use the non-filers tool last year, which is consistent with our um, you know, a view that it would be more challenging. The easiest would be those who had information that the IRS had, and it would become more challenging. So this is a more challenging group, but this is certainly good news. Uh, within two weeks of the American Rescue Plan becoming law, the IRS and Treasury had started di dispersing 170 million payments. At a similar point during the first round of economic impa impact payments authorized a year ago, the first payments had yet to be completed. So just to give you a point of comparison. it's all and there you go. What's important to understand is the timeline that we're now looking at. The third stimulus is where we are right now in April. And it's important to understand where your next check for purposes of stimulus would be coming from. The next check is rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, homeowners assistance, student, uh, student financial aid of $1,700. Those are items that are now live in April. They're also going to be live in May. Pending to go live in the next few days are the items at SBA. But first, let me go over those first items. If you need help with rent or utilities, it's at your state and city and county. The money was given for the federal government to them. Reach out to both your city, state, and county. Next utilities, the same thing. SNAP is a national program. That's not going to run out of money, but the 15% add-on for it expires in December. Third, it's important to understand that FPUC, PUA, UI, rent, all these items, the eviction moratorium, the mortgage forbearance, all those items are expiring in September. So you want to get the money now rather than later. Then all the viewers of this channel who make less than $75,000 qualify for five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 of rent, utilities, food, and if they're homeowners, property assistance like mortgage. But then after that, there's some other add-ons. The money from SBA is about to go live, and that is the Shutter Venue Grant, the EIDL Grant, and also the Restaurant Grant. After that, we head into a blanket period of nothing happening until July. July is when that money for the children starts to land. But we need to understand that the push is, needs to go underway now so that you get that money out the door in July in addition to the children's money. Remember, children are being paid $3,600 versus or $3,000 starting the month of July paid every month. What does the president want to do? He wants them to make an annual uh, payment so that children get $300 a month for 18 years. That's $65,000. If that sounds incredibly high per person, $65,000, it is. And that's why when we look at the monthly stimulus checks for the four stimulus package, it's not unreasonable to say $8,400 an individual or $12,000 an individual between July and December. A stimulus check every month. How would this stimulus check work? People have asked me that question across the board. And what do I need to know to get myself ready? First of all, the single most obvious of, of answer about how to update IRS about bank accounts, where you are, is filing tax returns. So if you have not filed that 2020 tax return, that is the way to update the IRS about a new bank account for the forced stimulus check or about a new address or to change yourself from dependent status to non-dependent status. But if you have other things that you need to fix over the next few days, don't file that 2020 tax return just yet because it's not due till May. For example, if you haven't told IRS about a child, you need to get that ready. If you haven't, uh, if you have a missing first or second stimulus check and you're not sure if that third one's missing as well, you need to put those, you need to wait for the advisory about that. 
bottom line is don't file one amended return to just do another amended return or don't file one return to just amend it a few days later. Wait till you know how many apples and oranges you have to put on that return because there's a lot of fixing for a lot of viewers. And then viewers ask me, how would they pay that monthly stimulus check? Harris and Sanders, when senators, proposed that monthly stimulus check program, which I detailed last year. And their idea was to send you a debit card from the federal government. And that debit card you would just keep and it would be replenished monthly with a deposit that would automatically land on the debit card. Easy breezy. You wouldn't have to track anything. You wouldn't have to go to the mailbox. You wouldn't have to look at 15 different banks. And I wouldn't have to talk about Direct Express, Comerca versus Chase. It would just be one card and one card for everyone. Very easy. This is hopefully the way they do it. But along the way, we need to listen and understand where the narrative is going. And with that, let's watch a video from the Commerce Secretary yesterday talking about forced stimulus and why she wants to get Republicans on plat. Ultimately, you don't want the bill to go any other path but reconciliation. More about that in a second, but let's listen into what she had to say. Investments in infrastructure, advanced manufacturing, workforce development, and our care economy are made, are made at the scale we need, and are made in every single community in America. Uh, and as the President has, has led us to uh, has, is leading us to build back better, that means we need to do so more inclusively and ensure that these investments that we are making in broadband, in housing, in the care economy, in water, uh, are in every community in America, rural, tribal, urban, communities of color, and reaching everyone across America. The fact is we have failed for a long time to invest, and as a result, we have fallen behind. So why does that matter? It matters because it makes it harder for small businesses to compete. It, make, it matters because it makes it harder for American companies to compete, and it makes it harder for the average American to get a decent job and to get the skills they need in order to get a high-paying job in the industries that are growing today and tomorrow. Um, and the fact of the matter is we know that lack of investment, particularly in public transportation, transit, water, housing, has hurt low-income folks and people of color the most. And it's time to finally rectify that systemic inequality and build back better and more equally. Uh, as Jen said, my job as a Commerce Secretary is to do everything I can to enable American businesses of all sizes to compete. And at its core, the American Jobs Plan is about investing in American competitiveness, strengthening our workforce, rebuilding infrastructure, and leveling the playing field so all Americans have a And here we go. This is where the forced stimulus package ostensibly lands at this point. To give you a recap of what's happening across the President, the Commerce Secretary, and the Press Secretary's statements, are the fo is the following. Infrastructure is good. You don't have to tell us that. We know infrastructure is good. Fixing infrastructure is great. We got that. We don't have to hear that. Um, we want to do it by bipartisanship. Okay, but what will that result in? What are the Republicans saying? The Republicans are saying, we like infrastructure too. You got climate in there. We don't like climate and we're not going to give you climate. They also say, you got tax raises in there. We're not going to do tax raises. So why belabor the point is my question. Ultimately, you want the bill in the Senate as soon as possible. It takes two months for a reconciliation process to happen. And the faster you get the bill to the Senate, the faster it helps you. Republicans are a non-starter on the two issues the president says you have to do something. If someone says there's two items that are non-starters and the other side says, I won't do it if you don't give me anything, then go ahead with the reconciliation process. What is the no-brainer here? It makes such obvious sense. Let me explain again the reconciliation process to get this four stimulus out the door to so you know when the month would happen and to know when and where you should be pushing as a Purple Power member. First, the Commerce Secretary in her comments later in this video, the President and also the, the Press Secretary said, over the next two weeks they want to hear from you. 
So tag them with this video. Share this video on Facebook, social media, Twitter, Instagram. Hashtag Purple Power. Hashtag MSC. Tell them what you want to think. Tell them get this bill to the Senate as fast as possible by reconciliation, by multiple stimulus checks. Don't belabor the point. Get it done quickly. We need this relief out the door. Second, call them up on the phone. Contact the commerce sector. Contact the transportation secretary. They'd love to hear from you. They don't hear from American people. Express professionally your opinion of the situation so they can hear it. Ultimately, the more people that tell them, stop waiting for Republicans to give you something they have already said they're not going to give you climate, they're not going to give you taxes, go ahead and do the bill. Now let me explain to you the process. It's a two-step process, just like what we had in January, the tow truck and the tow hitch. Let's recap. The tow truck first has to be done. The tow truck is a bill to say, we agree to do this by reconciliation. It starts in the House and then goes to the Senate and then it's signed by the president of law that they agree to do something by reconciliation. Understand this is different than saying they're able to Remember, Chuck Schumer won that award earlier this week. This is they're able to do a recon of a recon. Well, that's different than saying they agree to do it. They have to agree to do it as a family. And so step one is the tow truck going over the finish line to agree to do a recon. Then they go back to the house and start step two. They decide what's on the tow hitch behind the tow truck. The tow truck's already past the finish line now. So they decide to put in items on the tow hitch bridges, railways, water, it may not have stimulus checks in there. That's what those 51 of 21 of 50 senators who are Democrats want to put in there when that tow hitch and the tow truck get to the Senate. During a two-day amendment process called the Votorama, that's when they put it in there. They can put it in there while the bill's in the House, understand. The House Democrats can put it in there so that the senators don't have to do it for them. But ultimately, the Senate Democrats say they're going to do it by amendment, by Votorama, once it lands in the Senate. They've done this before. Under the third stimulus package, they put the $10,200 of unemployment tax-free in there by Votorama. They put the student loan debt forgiveness as tax-free if it becomes forgiven by the president by executive order in the next two weeks. They put that in by Votorama. They put in a lot of things in the third stimulus package by Votorama. A lot of ingenious smart, well thought out, and well planned items. They weren't items that they sort of threw up in the sky that day. No, they have been thinking about these for a long time. And during that Votorama is when they put it in. That's when you want them to get the push. Again, we go back to timing. Timing is your friend. The new jobless numbers today, not good. That helps you for the push now. But we have two months away. You don't want this new jobless numbers to be 200,000 two months from now. You don't want to look at this chart and wonder, wait a second, this economy is starting to rebound. You want the economy to be where it is right now, and you want that bill in the Senate as soon as possible. Every month a stimulus check passes. Every month passes, you don't get a stimulus check. It doesn't make sense. Along the way, as a family, we have done things before, and this may be your biggest payout ever. Your biggest payout ever would be these monthly stimulus checks. This is the time, Purple Power. Hashtag MSC. Hashtag Purple Power. Push, 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 because this is what you are owed. And away we go. I'll see you next on Hazard Pay, which is 90 minutes from now, followed potentially by Purple Power again. <laughs> Hopefully I don't miss that one up. And then tomorrow morning at EIDL and FPUC at 6 and 6.30, followed by Early Mornings LA. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video. And if you're not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA. For more.